Hey everybody, it's Julin. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. And yes, I am filming inside of my home in front of my bed and I do have a plant shelf behind me. And if this video gets 300 thumbs up, I'll definitely go ahead and share with you my little setup behind me. And I just put this kind of together over the last couple of days with the rain about to come and has been coming and going it will be raining the next three days and it rained over the weekend while i was away a bunch of my very precious plants that doesn't like a lot of heavy rain are inside and it inspired me to just create a shelf in front of my bed with an existing shelf that i had in my kitchen area holding my jar so now it is holding a bunch of my plants i'll talk about this in a separate video so if this video gets 300 thumbs up I'll definitely go ahead and reveal what's going on behind me. So in today's video, I definitely do want to talk about all 14 plants that I purchased over the weekend. And I did go crazy. I did not hold back and pretty much everything that I wanted except for my alocasia elephant's ear because that is a very big purchase. And I'll go ahead and purchase that for my birthday over the summer. Um, or maybe if I don't buy plants for like a week, then maybe I'll go ahead and just purchase that one plant. But other than that, I bought whatever I wanted and I went to five different nurseries in a handful of cities that I've never been to before and all of these nurseries I've never been to. So it was definitely fun for me. I did film for the Come With Me series. So if you guys are interested in checking out those episodes, they will be uploaded prior to this haul. If you guys are interested in seeing what I did over the weekend in different cities, then go ahead and check out my vlog channel because I did vlog a Travel with Julian episode for the weekend. Now, I started my weekend in Palm Springs and the Desert Hot Springs area, and that's about 120 something miles inland towards the desert. And then the next day, I ended up going up north about 90 something miles up the coast. So I spent the weekend in Santa Barbara, and I haven't been in Santa Barbara for a couple of years. I want to say maybe two, three years since I last went to Santa Barbara. It's been a minute. And I love Santa Barbara and even though if it was raining here and it was raining in Santa Barbara, I still made the most of it and I was very surprised. All of the nurseries I went to in the rain, there were people actually plant shopping so I wasn't the only crazy one. Now I want to talk about the first nursery that I went to in Santa Barbara and I believe I picked up three different plants. Now I was blown away that out of all of the five nurseries that I've been to and I picked up plants at every location, I do not have these plants. And with my collection being 200 plus, it always surprises me that I can walk into a nursery and buy plants that I do not have in my collection. And being a collector, this is very dangerous because it's a never ending story. Here is the first baby. I know guys. Does this look familiar? This is a Tritoscantia and I cannot believe this amazing plant. Now I found this in the greenhouse. It is called the Tritoscantia geniculata Tahitian Bridal Veil. Wow. Here's the top point of view. I'll give it a spin so you can see what's going on here. It definitely does need a water. This Tritoscantia, I was really blown away. It was almost like when I found the mini Oxalis, the sunset, when they were really tiny. I was like, oh my goodness. When I thought I'd seen it all, the Tritoscantia came through and surprised me once again. I swear, this thing is so stunning. I've never seen Tritoscantia this small. And it almost looks like from a distance that there's like baby's breath on the top of it. Because the little blooms are very small and white. And I think it's absolutely adorable. What do you guys think about this? Also, when you look under the plant, you see that signature purple under the leaf. This plant is so stunning and I already can envision this plant hanging in my bathroom on my tension rod with the few plants that I'm going to handpick and choose who is going up there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll discuss my bathroom plants in a whole separate video when I decide who and when and where I'm going to put uh, my certain babies in there that are very finicky. But guys, how amazing is this plant now like compared to me it is so nice and full this was the only one and i cannot believe that it's blooming i i'm just i'm really obsessed with this one so with so my tritoscantia collection growing i am definitely going to be dedicating a julian's collective video for my very fun series featuring my collections and I'm going to have to dedicate one to the Tritoscantia because I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's, I've been on a Tritoscantia kick lately. The topic so. of Tritoscantia, when I thought I'd seen it all, outside of the greenhouse, across the begonia section, which I was really stuck on, 
I was going to make a begonia purchase there. Like I was really this close in getting another begonia because it was so stunning, their begonia selection. But then I turned around and I seen this. Another Tretoscantia and this is a Padilla Purple Fuzzy. So yes, there's fuzzies on them and I absolutely love this thing. Right away when I seen this, I thought about Catherine because she also loves these fuzzy Tritoscantias. Now, I've never seen this variety before where it's all green. And if you look underneath here, there's that signature purple. How stunning is this? I'm like, I don't know. All of a sudden now, I just love Tritoscantias. I, I think what had happened was with my Tritoscantias, what made me fall in love with them was when I got my, I think maybe my my big birthday, I think is when I started really getting into Tritoscantias. But I absolutely love these two. Here they are side by side. And I'm really, really ecstatic about these finds. They were just like gems. When I went in there, I couldn't help myself and I purchased those two. Right away when I entered the nursery, I was already taken away by all of the selection that they had. And I was hoping that I was going to find a Peperomia that I didn't have in my collection. And here it is. So this is the Peperomia Amigo Marcello. So the cool thing about this Peperomia is that it also has the rat tail so blooms. There was a handful of them already with rat tail blooms on them, but they weren't looking that great. There was a lot of yellowing in the leaves. So I decided to go with this one and then I'll just wait for the rat tail blooms to come when it's ready. So I am in love with this thing. I would love to see this in a cute white planter. So stay tuned. I can't believe I found another Peperomia. So I can't wait to add this to my Peperomia collection. And if you haven't seen my Julens collective series, I have a Peperomia episode dedicated to my whole collection of Peperomia. So now I got another one and that was like a pretty cool find. So between the Tritoscantias and the Peperomia, that was a really good plant visit and I headed over to the next town over which is north of Santa Barbara it's called Goleta and boy well not only was it raining and in this particular plant nursery I was the only one there and if you've seen that episode it was pretty big and I love being able to explore a plant nursery when it's just I love me. being able to go into a plant nursery and being the only one in that plant nursery. Now, if you are a fan of my Come With Me series, you know that there has been a handful of times where I'm the only one adventuring in that plant nursery and nobody else. And I swear, guys, those moments are my favorite. And I know a bunch of you like when I go plant shopping with friends and a bunch of you guys like when I go plant shopping alone. I'm fine either or and as you see like I really take my time when it goes through adventuring through a plant nursery. With that being said in Golita I ended up with one plant and it was really cool. I chatted with the owner for a bit and it's so cool to plant talk and I ended up getting one baby and I know this is probably not surprising. An epiphylum. So this thing is super cool. There was a handful of them. If you watched the Come With Me episode, I really had to pick and choose to see who was going home with me. I don't want to touch it too much because there is little pricklies on it. This is what it looks like. And I definitely don't want to touch it too much because there's little fine pricklies on it. But I love epiphyllums. If you keep up with my channel and my collection, I'm also on an epiphyllum kick. I am a huge fan and I will do a Julian's Collective episode on my epiphyllums. The fun thing about epiphyllums is that they're all different. And I can say that with peperomias and just plants in general. So the fun thing about epiphyllums, I think that what attracts me to them is that they're long and trailing and they all look like they have their own personality and traits to them. So this one is a little bit on the fatter side. And I love how like the edges on it isn't as prominent as like the Rick Rack. But I am in love with this thing. I'm kind of interested to see how much is going to grow on me over the next year. So stay tuned. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to plant this in. But I'm thinking maybe in a hanging basket or maybe in a terracotta in a macrame hanger. I'm not too sure. Sound off down below, how do you think I should style this? Or maybe just a terracotta and just have it hang out somewhere in my patio. So this is my one plot purchase on the second location in Golita. And it was pouring rain and I can't believe that I was able to manage to still film in that rain. So definitely give this video a thumbs up. 
and those come with me episodes if you guys enjoy seeing me film in the rain it's definitely hard especially like if i have ebby but that one particular nursery wasn't dog friendly so ebby just sat in the car with the windows down and my seats got so wet with the rain but i really love this plant and anytime i do plant shopping on trips it's like my little souvenir from that city and i'm a huge fan of souvenirs so this is my one souvenir from Golita. And speaking of Golita, I did stop by a thrift shop. And you guys know I love thrifting and all things vintage. And I picked up something so amazing. I'll talk about it in a whole separate video. But yes, I did stop by this plant nursery and also a thrift shop in Golita. And I think that city is super cute. And it's about 100 miles north above Santa Monica along the coast. So i will definitely go back in the future maybe in a couple of months or maybe sometime next so, year i went to another plant nursery in santa barbara and this was maybe about two miles from where i was staying in santa barbara so saturday was really rainy and then following sunday it was pretty good blue skies everything was wet but to like plant adventure and adventure in different cities i was just so happy that it wasn't rainy i stopped by another plant nursery in santa barbara two miles from where i was staying and oh my goodness yeah it was amazing <laughs> every single nursery was amazing but this guys i purchased four really cool plants i'm going to save my most favorite plant which i got at this location the third location at the end of the video so stay tuned i'm gonna talk about my first one here so here is another ripsalis i believe there's no id on this but i definitely think it is a ripsalis and i think i got the best one out of whatever that they had and i'm kind of interested to see what type of ripsalis this is so if any of you guys know what kind of ripsalis this is sound off down below my ripsalis collection is growing as well and again it's that trilly type succulent cacti pieces that i am like kind of living for lately i just love how it looks like hair so when i'm looking at this particular plant i definitely would like to see it in a really cute planter i'm not too sure if it'll look good like in a terracotta with a macrame hanger as it gets bigger maybe i'll switch it out to that but it'd be fun to find like a head planter and have this be the hair and if any of you guys know exactly what type of risalis this is let me know down in the comments below i am absolutely in love with this ripsalis so yes i will do a ripsalis collection video in the future then it got crazy because i found this section with variegated babies <laughs> and well i couldn't help myself so here is my variegated string of pearls now i can always plant shop online but I'm a sucker for getting them in person and being able to hand pick them and let them call out to me. So here I finally was able to come across the variegated string of pearls. This was the most trailiest looking one. I can't believe guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a variegated string of pearls and are they slow growers. I'm kind of interested to see how long this is going to take for it to trail i know variegated plants can be a little bit picky so with the variegated type of plants they do take longer to grow so i'm kind of interested to see how long it's going to take for me to see this thing trail more and fill up the planter and i'm probably thinking i'm going to just put it in a terracotta planter because i think most of my senecios well i can't really say because some of them are in white planters but a handful of them are in terracottas but with that being said, I would definitely do a Senecio Julian collective video. So it looks like I have a long list of collective videos that I need to do. The next one I want to talk about is my variegated string of hearts. So this plant has been on my wish list for a while, guys. And I could have ordered this plant again also online, but I wanted to come across of it in person. So I think this is the first time I've ever come across this plant in person. And yes, there's not a lot of trails. But I'll be patient and I'll keep you guys posted. So I definitely have a lot of planting to do. So in my fourth location, and this was in Carpinteria. And I swear this place, and I hope I'm pronouncing it correct, is so, so cute. It's about 90 miles north of me in this really cute town along the beach. Ebby and I had lunch on the beach there. So if you guys are interested in seeing what we did over the weekend, head over to the vlog channel. It'll go up after my Egypt content, which I'm still working on because I was in Egypt for a very long time. 
So I got one, two, three, three plants. It was a really cool nursery along the coastline. And I'll talk about the first one here. So here is another trailing type plant. Oh no, what happened here? We'll just have to go ahead and propagate you. But here is another, I want to say, Ripsalis. And I do not have this one. And maybe Catherine might have this one. So again, I love these trailing type succulents and cacti. I didn't have this one, so I went ahead and picked it up. But I didn't know that you were loose in the planters. So I'm going to have to propagate you. And you know, these type of plants are very easy to propagate, whether it's in dirt or in water. And of course, another trailing plant. Now, I did go ahead and talk to the nursery about this one. So here's my next traily plant. Now, this, guys, almost looks like a senecio and like a spearhead, but like crazy. Just started propagating it, and now they sell it at their nursery. One of the guys in that nursery said it was an octulo something. He couldn't even tell me himself. Um, so again, these nurseries, sometimes they propagate plants, and they sell plants, and they don't even know the ID on it. So this is just my mystery plant. But again, it's a trailing plant and I'm a sucker for trails. Okay, so the last plant that I got at that location is so cute. And I wish they had it in a bigger planter because I probably would have gotten it in a bigger planter. So here is my Crestula watch chain. Can you guys see that cute variegation on it? I cannot believe it. It's a variegated watch chain, you guys. So I guess all of my collections are growing because this is a really rad Crestula that I don't have. I do have an all green watch chain, which is very common. But guys, I've never seen a variegated watch chain. Have you? Oh, you are so cute. I can't believe I was able to get this. So that was the three plants that I got in the fourth location. And that was in Carpentaria. Very cute town along the coastline. Never been there before, so it's cool to plant shop. And also, um, I'm a big foodie and a food enthusiast, and I'm in the restaurant business, if you didn't know that. Um, I do have two restaurants in Las Vegas, one I created, and then we also have a pizza shop, which is turning into a restaurant right now. So if you guys are in Las Vegas, go ahead and check us out. And you will be able to know the name of the restaurant by following me on Instagram. So if you haven't, follow me on Instagram at underscore I love Julian and planting with Julian. Also with my planting with Julian Instagram, I do share a lot of my plant life on there via my IG stories and I post up a lot of plants for sale. So that's all of the plants in this particular box. There is a lot. So I went to my last location, it's my fifth one and that was yesterday, Sunday afternoon. And this was in Ventura, California, about 60 miles north of me. Never been to Ventura, California before. And this place was pretty cool. It was like a grocery store for plants. It reminded me of Ace Hardware. We have Ace Hardware in Hawaii where it's like a hardware store and a plant nursery, garden center. So sign off down below, where do you like to shop? Do you like shopping at these hardware stores that has a garden center attached to it? Do you like going to an independent plant nursery that it's owned by an owner? Or do you like going to small plant shops, flea markets, big box stores? Sign off down below, I love them all you just never know what you're going to find with that being said i went into the greenhouse and boy was i taken away the first thing i want to talk about is you guessed it a tritoscantia i know you guys are not surprised okay and i even text Catherine. what am i gonna do am i going to get this tritoscantia because she knows um yeah she knows me pretty well and the type of plants that I have and I go for. And she was like, yes. So I ended up picking this up. And again, I don't know exactly what variety this is. I don't know the exact name of this Tritoscantia. But it's the Wandering Jew, but in a variegation of green and lime green yellow. I am in love with this thing. And I already have it hanging up on my tension rod in my bathroom. And I showered last night with it up there. And it was total jungle vibes right now in my bathroom so again i will go ahead and do a new updated plant tour once i'm done with my bathroom and my space my love seat is coming and boy i can't wait with that note do you guys remember when i went to arizona and i bought all of my baskets for my basket wall i've been saving it for my love seat so i will go ahead and place that up onto the wall over my new love seat 
and then I will style plants around it. I can't wait. I love that Tritoscantia a lot. It's definitely going in my bathroom. I would like to have all of my Tritoscantias, Begonias, Arrowheads, and my Finicky Peperomias, like my Ripples, in my bathroom. So stay tuned. I am going through everything in my collection and picking and choosing who goes in there. Now, in that greenhouse, I got taken away because as I was looking at the big elephant's ear allocation, I was like, oh, I'm going to get you one day for my birthday this year. Because that thing goes for about $80 to $100 depending on where you buy it. I was like, I wish they had it smaller. I'd never seen it smaller. I took that corner and what do you guys know? I found them small. Then I turned around and there you guys have it. Smaller allocations. This is the first time ever I've been to a plant nursery where they have small allocations. I like that Regal Shield where it's on that velvety side. And my Regal Shield is pretty similar to this one. I am in love with this plant. I'm hoping that I will be able to keep it alive. So this plant is on the droopy side. I'm definitely going to get some Velcro tape. And just kind of help it to come up a little bit more. As you can see, there is a baby coming through. So that makes me really happy. I'm not too sure what's going on here. But there is some small growth. And I am in love with this alocasia. So this particular alocasia is labeled as the Frydeck. Correct me if I'm wrong. F-R-Y-D-E-K. Frydeck variety i love this one i've never seen it before i don't think. so here's my next alocasia and this is the black magic can you guys take a look at this deep green and this dark vampy dark green black foliage i can't i think this plant is so stunning there is a little damage to the plant um, but i'm definitely not mad at it these plants are finicky i'm glad i was able to even purchase it and I am really excited to get a smaller alocasia because these alocasias are very expensive. And if they weren't so expensive, my collection for alocasias would be really big. I have a handful of them, but I love them. And I think I'm always going to go with alocasias versus caladiums because caladiums, again, it has a heart-shaped leaf. But I swear, all of my caladiums died. They droop over, and once they droop over, that is the end of them. So alocasias is definitely my go-to's instead of caladiums. And again, it has a heart-shaped foliage, super cute. These two alocasias will definitely go inside of my bathroom because they like that greenhouse effect where it's a little bit more tropical and humid type weather. They do well in this type of environment. So I can't wait to plant this. Let's talk about my finds in Santa Barbara. So I ended up getting these aeonium cuttings and they were on the side of the road near my rental that i was staying at in santa barbara and i think because of the rain and all of that they were just on the side of the road struggling so i went ahead and i rescued them there's some growth here but you know with aeoniums they're pretty hardy they can withstand all kinds of different weather and right now it is aeonium season so I know the aeoniums that this came from, the mother plant was doing really good, but these weren't doing really good. So I went ahead and I rescued them. So stay tuned. When I do my next planting with Julian, if I have time, I'll go ahead and fix them up and try to get them to its best it can be with the condition that they're in. So I have these cuttings. <laughs> now, to wrap up my beautiful plant haul for my weekend finds, I'm going to end on this sweet note. I'm a huge fan of epiphyllums. I just can't help myself. And I finally found my dream plant. Now this thing is absolutely beautiful and stunning. I can't even explain the way how I feel about this. This is also known as the fern cactus. And this thing is so stunning. It's been hanging in my patio since yesterday. And when I came home today from teaching my morning classes, that was like the first thing that I looked at. This thing is definitely a showstopper. And in transit, now with this thing being so huge, in transit, one of its leaves fell off. So I'm going to propagate it. Or if any of you guys are interested and want to get a cutting from it, let me know. And I'm really excited about this one. This was from the third location that I went to over the weekend. This was in Santa Barbara. And I actually had left the nursery. And I went back to my rental. And I talked to my host about it. I talked to my grandma about it. I talked to Catherine and Kira about it. And then I ended up going back for it. So I want to say thank you, grandma, for my girls' day gift. 
I am really excited about this gift and if you guys don't know what Girls Day is, it is like a Japanese holiday which is also celebrated in Hawaii and celebrating all things being a girl of life. So my grandma and my mom, they always do something nice for me for Girls Day. So when I was telling my grandma about this plant, she was like, go get it. Happy Girls Day. So this is definitely probably one of my top 10 plants in my collection i'll do another top 10 very soon but what do you guys think i've seen this plant before maybe in west hollywood last year and i have not seen the plant since then this is a very rare plant and a very expensive plant so it's definitely an investment for me but you know what i'm going to do my hanging wire basket with coco liner that i did get at the 99 cent store with catherine i'm going to use that for this plant and my wall hanging with cocoa liner the butterflies on it i'm going to dedicate that one for my staghorn fern because these type of plants love the cocoa but liner. stay tuned for our upcoming planting with julian because i did spray paint both of those wired pieces with cocoa liner white and they're ready to go so really excited to plant this up let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite plant of my weekend adventure and also sound off down below if you would like for me to do another weekend adventure in the future where i just go out and explore and plant shop and share content for the channel this was such an amazing three days for me guys and i actually was supposed to have been in las vegas for the work weekend and that canceled out and i wanted to go ahead and take advantage of that so it was a youtube weekend for my channel for my vlog channel for travel with julin and then also for my come with me series as well as my plant hauls and stay tuned for planting with julian episodes so off down below what was your favorite plant again these are 14 plants plus my cutting so that's 15 plants over the weekend and i pretty much bought whatever i wanted and i am looking forward to see when i am able to do this again i do work every day i teach every day so it's very hard for me to get away With that being said i definitely will be making some time out this week tomorrow night to be specific i'll be heading out to san diego tomorrow night after my night classes and i will be dedicating two nights in san diego to film content for both my vlog channel and my main channel it's been a good minute since i've been in san diego i went down there in august so we're talking about seven months or so since i last went down there so i think it's time to go back to san diego to film more content for the channel and of course i love being able to go down there or have an excuse to go out to san diego santa barbara Palm Springs to go ahead and film content for you guys and if you want to see more videos like this and you're new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads I have a video live on my channel every 5 a.m. I know a bunch of you guys love having my videos as part of your morning routine and I appreciate each and every one of you so stay tuned for more videos I'll see you guys in San Diego tomorrow but before that and with the rain coming guys because it's going to be like three days of rain i'm hoping between my morning and night classes tomorrow i will be able to film my pot of fame for the month of february because i've been traveling a lot i wasn't able to do it last week but i would like to do that tomorrow before i head to san diego so stay tuned for that i hope you guys enjoyed this video sound off down below if you have any of the plants and also which was your favorite plant out of all of the 15 plants that I got. I hope this inspires you and I'll see you guys soon. You can find more on my blog at ilovejulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye!